The next thing I looked at when I was at the University of Chicago is I studied the Grameen Bank and how it scaled. Axio and other microfinance institutions. And no doubt the Grameen Bank, incredibly successful. Right? 7 million clients across Bangladesh. On the other hand, it took the Grameen Bank 35 years to do that. Now, could you imagine if we took that pace of growth in India, how many generations it would take to reach 150 million households? The fact is that we need to scale much faster if we're going to, to reach, uh, take microfinance to its full potential. So on the other hand, I also looked at companies like Coke and Starbucks and McDonald's and tried to understand how they scaled. And Coke is an interesting example because Coke entered India about 15 years ago, just after liberalization, just when microfinance was really starting in India. And today you can get a Coke in virtually any village in, in India. And I know because I like Coke and I kick around a lot of villages and I always find one. But you only find a microfinance loan in maybe 10, 15 percent of Indian villages. Now, why is it that Coke can scale but microfinance can't? Well, the answer is a Coke is a Coke is a Coke. It's a standardized product and a standardized distribution process. In microfinance, Processes vary from MFI to MFI. Sometimes different loan officers are doing different things in the same MFI. Sometimes the same loan officer is doing different things in two different villages. That's no way to scale. Instead, it needs to be a highly standardized approach. So what we do at SKS is we looked at companies that had that level of standardization, McDonald's, Starbucks, and tried to apply those principles to microfinance. McDonald's is a good example because it's a semi-skilled workforce. Right, and they use a factory style training and it's Hamburger University, it's franchise model. And although we don't do franchising, we've adopted that factory style approach. And that's enabled us today to, to train a thousand new loan officers every month. Likewise, Starbucks, we all know the story. Same coffee, same process, wherever you go in the world. We've adapted that level of standardization at our branches. And today that has enabled us to reach 150 br branches, new branches, and even my slide is dated, not 350,000, but as of last month, 400,000 new customers every month. That has given us this 200% annual growth rate. Now, why is that exciting? It's exciting because that means the woman that I met many years ago, we can go back to her and say, yes, we can come to your village. 